Okay, so welcome back. So my name is Timmy, Mr. Abbas Glory. So let's now talk about the sutures of the skull. Talking about the sutures of the skull. Now you may be asked, you have a skeleton like this, say, identify this, this is the skull. Being the skull, we have different bones that makes up the skull. However, the part I want to talk about is the part that we want to talk about the sutures of the skull. Now the bones of the skull are flat, irregular shape bones. They are flat, irregular shape bones. However, they are held together by what we call sutures. What is sutures? Sutures is a fibrous joint that help the bone of the skull together. Who are they? We have, of course, we know this is the frontal bone. This is the parental bone. This is the parental bone. This is the hospital bone. This is parental bone. This is frontal bone. And this is hospital bone. So you hold it like this. Frontal bone. Parental bone, occipital bone, of course, this is temporal bone. The temporal bone, the parental bone, the frontal bone, and then the occipital bone. Who are the sutures? Remember, I said sutures are fibrous joints that help to hold the bones of the skull together. Now, we have the frontal bone, we have the parental bone. The sutures that hold the frontal bone to the two parental bone is called corona suture is called corona suture the suture that hold the frontal bone to the two parental bone is called corona suture now we have the two parental bone the suture that hold the two parental bone together is called sagittal suture the suture that hold the two parental bone together is called sagittal suture now remember we said this is occipital bone this is parental bone. The suture that holds the occipital bone to the two parental bone is called laboid suture. Or some people call it laboida. Laboida suture or laboid suture. This is just occipital. This is parental. The suture that holds the parental to the occipital is called laboida or laboid suture. Now, remember we said this is, te this is temporal, this is parental. The suture that holds the tempera to the parental is called squamous suture. The suture that holds the tempera to the parental is called squamous suture. Is called squamous suture. Now, the next we want to talk about is what we call the fontane. The fontane. Who is fontane? Fontane is the point where sutures unite. Fontane is a point where sutures unite. Remember we said this is corona suture. This is sagittal suture. This is laboida suture. Now, the point where corona suture unites with sagittal suture is called anterior fontane. The point where corona suture unites with sagittal suture is called anterior fontane. The point where corona suture, sagittal suture, sagittal suture unite with laboida suture is called posterior fontane. This is sagittal, this is laboida. The point where laboida unite with sagittal is called posterior fontane. Now, mind you, we say this is squamous suture. This is squamous suture. So the point where corona suture unite with Unite squamous uh, corona suture, united squamous at the front is called sphenoidal fontane. It's called sphenoidal fontane. Why the point where laboida unites with this squamous at the back is stored fontane. The point where laboida unites with the squamous is called mastoid fontane. Sphenoidal fontane, mastoid fontane. So what have I said in summary? This is the skull, and I said the bones of the skull are held together by suture. Who is the suture? Suture are fibrous joints that help to hold the bone of the skull together. Who are the bones? We have the frontal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone, and then we have the temporal bone. Now the frontal bone and the parietal bone are held together by a corona suture, the two parental bones are held together by sagittal suture and then 
the occipital is head to the parenta by labueda suture. Now, the tempera is head to the parenta by the squamous suture. However, and I said again that the point where suture unite is called fontane. Now, this is corona suture, this is sagittal suture. The point where sagittal suture unites with corona is called anterior fontane. The point where sagitta unites with labueda at the back is called posterior fontanel. The point where corona unites with the squamous at the front is called sphenoida. While the point where labueda unites with the squamous at the back is called mastoid fontanel. So that is for that if you are asked on exam day. Thank you.